Now to this, a young Sacramento girl nearly lost her life last fall while riding her bike to school after she was hit by a car. And now the Sacramento Police Department is helping get her back on two wheels. As CBS 13's Tony Lopez explains, there's a surprise connection between the victim and the officer who responded to the crash. Here you go, here's your new bike. Sacramento Police Officer Corey Johnson presents a brand new bicycle and helmet. To 12 year old Elena Wong. I'll let you put it on. Last October, Elena was struck by a car and nearly killed near William Land Park. I was riding my bike to school. Fortunately, she was wearing a helmet. The doctor said I would have died without the helmet. Corey is the detective who investigated the serious crash. It's a little girl on a bicycle hit by a vehicle, and that's just one that you don't really want to go to. You got homework? Yeah. Turns out, Corey had actually yeah. met Elena and her mom about a year earlier at a school bicycle safety event. When Detective Johnson came to the hospital to interview her after the accident, I recognized him right away as the officer that gave her the helmet that she was wearing that day. I saw the helmet and I was like, man, that looks like one of the helmets that I give out. And then I met mom and she was like, yeah, you're the one who gave her the helmet. So it was pretty amazing. On average in Sacramento, three people die each year in bicycle accidents, and a quarter of all bicycle accidents involve a victim who's 18 and under. That's why bicycle safety is something Corey takes so seriously. Over the years, I've probably given out over 2,000 helmets, and uh, if you know if one of them saves a life, which it did, then uh, that makes me very happy. She ended up with a traumatic brain injury even with the helmet. It took her a couple weeks to even start making memories again. So. I don't think there would have been any more memories if there hadn't been a helmet. Wow, so glad she is okay. Money for the bicycle helmet giveaways comes from a state's traffic safety grant, but that funding just recently e expired. So investigators determined the driver in Elena's crash was not at fault.